Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, and as promised, we have this thing back in. So if you remember two or three videos ago, uh, this was in having the Alive Comfort dampers, springs, that sort of stuff. And we told you it was coming back in for a GTB 450. So here it is, turbo is fitted. And I will pop the bonnet in a minute and show you that. Uh, it originally had a stage two on it, so around 185 horsepower uh, and 400 to about 410 newton meters of torque, somewhere around there. So we haven't dynoed it before because we sort of knew where it was standing with obviously us tuning it in the past. Uh, but we are bringing you along for the results of what happens with this new turbo on it. So intercooler wise, Alive Ultimate, it's got the Alive Boost hoses on it. Um, I think it's even got one of our exhausts on it if I remember rightly. Let's go and have a look. So yeah, we've got the Alive uh, stainless steel exhaust system on there. Really, really nice colour this, love this colour. Especially under these LEDs, really pops. Um, so Rob's in the process of getting it strapped down, so I'm gonna give him a hand, get it on the dyno, pop the bonnet, we'll have a look under there, and we'll see what it does. Right, so under the bonnet. As I said, we've fitted the GTB 450. Uh, so originally the turbo on this, it seemed better days, it was on its way out. So customer decided, we took him out for a, a road test in our 110, showed him what the capability of the GTB 450 is and he's decided that that is what he wants. So as you can see, this has a GTB 450 fitted to it. Um, stock manifold, so we have run these very successfully with a standard manifold. Um, the only time really that we would recommend changing this is if we're going for, for um, big, big power gains or you do a lot of towing with it. So our own 110, those of the, you that have seen it, does run a CJM manifold on there. That's just because of the fact that it, it spends most of its life towing race trucks, show trailers, that sort of stuff about. Uh, what else has it got? So it's got the Alive boost hoses and stainless clip set. Uh, lifetime guarantee on these as well. And also, as I've just mentioned, it's got, if you can see it, tucked away in there, a live ultimate intercooler. Um, same again with that, so lifetime guarantee on that. So really, really well set up this one. It's a good looking truck, it's well cared for. Uh, the owner is, is one of these, he's, he's obsessed. Same as, uh, same as most of us are, to be fair. So we're gonna get it all warmed up, make sure there's no leaks or anything else like that. It has had a brief road test from the turbo being fitted but nothing too serious because we can do it all on the dyno anyway. It's much safer to do it in here. Get it warmed up, tune it, see what it does. So let's go for it. Right, so what do we have so far? We are 199.8 horsepower and 454.2 newton meters of torque. Uh, obviously, as you can see here, we've got a really, really nice curve with the torque. A um, little bit less than what we normally see in terms of horsepower. These usually do around sort of 210 ish. Um, torque wise, obviously, GTB 450, so the, the goal for these is 450 newton meters of torque. Um, but same with that, we have seen more with this. so. We'll have a quick look over it, see uh, why it's on the sort of lower end of the scale. I mean, the customer will still be absolutely over the moon with that because the actual drive of it will be vastly different um, <laughs> from what it was, uh, even on a, a good stock turbo, which this obviously was a little bit poorly. Uh, but yeah, we'll have a look. We'll see whether we can see any improvement with it, make any changes and go from there. Right, so after speaking with Gary, um, and we've all been sort of looking and, and trying to figure this out, um, that is it. That is as much as this will give. We're not entirely sure why. Um, you want to say injectors, but the thing is, this thing's only done 100,000 miles. So in theory, injectors should be pretty good in it still. Um, we're not sure though, whether it's ever had a, a head gasket or whether it's had the head skimmed or something along those lines, because we do know that that can actually lower the the power, 
Um, I mean, overall, still really, really strong figures. And like I say, the, the customer with, who owns this will be absolutely blown away by it still. Um, it's just a little bit down to what we tend to see. Um, obviously, if you drove a stock, stock one of these and you got in this, this thing would be like a rocket ship. So we're going to get it all unstrapped off the dyno. We'll, I think Rob actually originally road tested this when it came in, so I'll find out. And if it is the, is the case, then Rob will be out and he'll take you for a road test in it. Um, yeah, that's it really. So really, really strong, but not quite as strong as we always see. Unfortunately, that's Land Rover life. <laughs> yeah. it, it genuinely, I, I, I'm a nervous passenger, so God knows what faces I was pulling them. <laughs> um, but even that, I mean, realistically, we were doing 70 to 75 ish. We are on a, a private gated road, by the way. Um, the suspension with that torque is just, that's it, isn't it? Yeah. That is literally it. It does handle very nice. She's not all over, she's well planted put your foot down it's instantly there i was going to say imagine doing that in a in a you know in a, when we stop suspension but you wouldn't get that sort of speed up that hill no <laughs> no it'd be lifting all the time the thing i like about this as well this is out like turbo wise it's just there isn't it yes you know there's no there's no lag with it, there's no hesitation. No. Stiff. Yeah, yeah, it's just there, isn't it? Yeah. That, I think overall, I think this is a, it's a nice setup. Job well done. Yeah. And uh, customer, he's going to be absolutely over the moon with it. I have no doubt. Um, what I will try and do, so I don't think he's picking it up for a day or two. So depending on when he picks it up, depends on whether I could potentially get the customer out on a road test in it, a video for you guys. Um, obviously if he turns up after the cut off uh, for getting this video out to you um, unfortunately it'll be too late by then but we will see but for now that's it thank you very much for watching don't forget like subscribe all the good stuff as always if there's anything that we don't show that you want to see comment below um, and also press this guy to get a 110 <laughs> see you on the next one cheers bye